Hey, this is Rick from Outdoor Emergencies from hikingemergencybeacon.com. And today I want to talk to you about Garmin Maps, the outdoor maps, and specifically the maps related to the in-reach devices. And I had a question this week from Steve, and I believe he's over in Thailand, and he was having trouble with getting maps. What he was coming up with and the difficulties he was having made me do a lot of research and figure things out because I'm going to be traveling more and I want to see on my 67i how to get maps anywhere I go in the world. But before I get into this detailed video and the answers and what I've found, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Now I want to just kind of break this down as, as thoroughly as I can, but simplistically and uh, not get too long and confused. All right. So on the outdoor maps, and before I get into that, let me tell you a bit about what Steve was having trouble with. And this is something anybody that buy, that's buying a Garmin inReach device needs to be aware of. So I believe he's in Thailand and he bought a Garmin GPS, GPS map 66i, but it came from Europe. Now all of these devices come preloaded with maps for your region and they're free, they're part of that device and, and what you paid for. The problem with that though is say for him, he's over in Thailand, well, he doesn't have the maps in Thailand. And so he's trying to get the maps and he can't find them. And, you know, there's, there's just that area of the world that seems to have a gap in it. And I talked to Garmin several times about this. and I've, uh, e Steve and I have been emailing back and forth to figure this out. And Garmin had told me that, okay, you know, there are maps on the Garmin site under the outdoor maps. But that's not all of them, and that's not for the whole world. And those may have more detailed information for those maps, but they, I think, pretty much all cost money. But what they told me was on Garmin Express. Now, that's a software that comes with your inReach device. And when you load it, that's a lot of times how you would sync things or, or get uh, software updates. But what they told me is that's where you also get more information on the maps and download maps anywhere in the world. Now, I want to be clear about this before I jump into it. These maps can cost you money or they may be free. Now, mine are free because I have the Outdoor Maps Plus from Garmin. It's an annual subscription for about $49. Now, you may say, oh, another $49, I don't want to spend all that money. Yes, but, you know, Garmin puts out really good products and a lot of information. And they used to have, say, in the United States, they had hunt view maps for every state. And I believe also Canada. Every one of the states cost about 90 bucks or $100. And you can imagine, after a few states, you're going to go broke. Well, the Outdoor Maps Plus subscription gets you maps for the whole world. I don't have to pay for any maps. Yes, I have. I pay 50 bucks a year, but I get any maps in the world, plus all the updates and everything. I, I don't have to worry about some things, which to me is a real convenience factor, and I really like it. So, you know, if you're going to complain about the price of this, you know, just be respectful because... Garmin is not a nonprofit organization. They are in this for profit. They provide a great service. They do a lot of research on their software, on their devices, and they're not doing it for free. So, you know, enjoy the devices, enjoy what you get. But, you know, it's, I just think it's worth going and paying the annual subscription because of all you get. So let's get into the differences and what you get with the maps and don't get and where you can get them, etc. So when I first went to the Garmin international page, but you know, Garmin.com, and I looked under outdoor devices, and then there was uh, outdoor maps. And then that showed a whole lot of maps. I mean, I would say there's probably 30 or so maps. There's two pages of maps, and I'll have links or, well, there'll be links down below too, but I'll have images of all that on, uh, on the screen here. But I was looking, and I was looking for Thailand, and I saw... Well, they didn't even have mainland China. They didn't have India either. There was the Middle East and I think East Asia or whatever. We need, there, was a, there was some maps, but then they also cost money. And I was like, well, the maps aren't there. And not all of them, at least. 
And so again, I was talking to Garmin and they said, no, you have to go to the Garmin Express software. So today I went and did that. And all of a sudden, every map in the world shows up. Now again, mine are all free because I have the annual subscriptions to Outdoor Maps Plus. But I went through and I picked on them. I, I picked on the area that has Indonesia and, uh, and anyway, there's several countries there around Indonesia, but it, then it didn't include Vietnam and like the Philippines, but then there was another set of maps. So I was able to download then it was uh, the Vietnam and the Philippines. Then I also downloaded Korea and Japan because we're planning on traveling to Korea and Japan here in the next year or two. So I, I downloaded them. They're all there. The whole world is there. Again, yours might cost money, but I would just say, you know, look at the cost for what you want where, where you live. And if you want more than one area, you know, you might be better off to go get the annual subscription. But that's not all. When you download those maps, you think you're done, right? But you're not. So on my device here and, and then on the Explore app on my phone, I went over there and I, I panned over there and I zoomed in and I looked at the area. And I was able to see it on both devices, my, smart, my smartphone with the Explore app and my GPS map 67i. Now what I saw was I, I went in and I started zooming in. And so take Thailand, for example. I started zooming in to Thailand and when I got closer in, all of a sudden it asked me to download or that it said there was a map download that was available. And I was like, well, okay, if I would have gone over there and not downloaded that map, I guess if I was over there, I still could have downloaded it, but I may have needed to be in Wi-Fi and not just cell service. So just be careful of that. When you download these maps from your Garmin Express, it's on your phone. However, you don't have access to it yet. So I downloaded it and now it now displays everything. Now when I zoom in real close, I see restaurants, I see services, I see government buildings, I see all kinds of things. So then I went over to Indonesia and then Korea and Japan. I did the very same thing. And it, when I zoomed in close, it asked me, or it said there was a download available. I downloaded it. And then again, then when I went into the street view or not street view, sorry, when I went closer to the street, then I got all the detail and it's topo active, but it's topo active for those parts of the world. Now your device, I want to throw this out too, may have a limit on its storage capacity. The 67i has a larger storage capacity than I believe the 66i did. So just be aware of that. I have been able to download, I think four or five different regions and I still have, I think at least half or more of the storage capacity left in this. And I'm going to go download you know, South America, Europe and different places and get them on my 67i. That also brings up another side note, though, is when I travel with my Mini 2, if I were, you know, I need to check and see if I can see and get access to those maps on the Mini 2. Now, I wouldn't be able to see them on the Mini 2, but because it's synced to the Explorer app, would I be able to see those on the Explorer app? I don't know about that, but that makes me think of another video I need to do after this one to see if that works. But on this, on the 67i and the 66i, you can see the maps and all the information on the screen itself, and you can see it on the Explorer app if you're synced. That was a whole lot of information. I don't think I went too long, and I'll probably get done with this and go, man, I should have said something else. But that gives you the overall idea and, and sense of what's going on and what you need to do. Again, it's not all on the Garmin.com site. You only get certain maps there. And again, they may be more detailed, have better information when the maps that they supply, but they do cost money. But if you go to the Garmin Express, that's where you have maps for the whole world. Again, you may have to pay for it. You may not. I don't have to pay for it, but I do pay for it in an annual subscription. Well, that's it. If you have any thoughts, advice, comments, because this is a big deal, honestly. And I think a lot of people don't really think about this till they're getting ready to take their trip or they're on their trip and they're like, hey, oh my goodness, I don't have maps. I don't have the information. Check it out before you go on your trip. Get it all resolved and make sure you understand your device and know what's available on it. So. Please leave a comment below and thanks for joining me here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. 
Please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. And if you'd like to support Hiking Emergency Beacon, there's a link in the description below. I want to do this. I want to do this for the long term and keep bringing you guys all this great information and videos and reviews and all these field tests here in Colorado and eventually elsewhere around the world. So thanks again for joining me here today, and I will see you back here in Colorado in the next video.